Cataracts is a form of vision loss that typically occurs as we age. The proteins and cells which make up our natural lens break down, causing a severe clouding of the transparent tissue. It occurs in about 20% of patients. So if you look around this room of, let's say, 60 people, that's about 12 people that develop cataracts. Thankfully, the treatment is quite common. It involves the removal of the natural lens and the implantation of an artificial polymer-based one. Unfortunately, there are some side effects. About one in five of these individuals will go on to develop secondary cataracts. This occurs because some of the lens cells which are left behind during surgery go on to differentiate into other cell types. And these cells can grow and they can migrate and they release certain types of cells that we typically don't see in this environment. And all of these, all of these processes combined create a cloudy layer on that artificial lens and patients have to relive with vision loss. And this can impact their mental, physical, as well as social health. However, one of the key preventative methods against secondary cataracts is to influence the behavior of those residual cells by altering the material of that artificial lens. So the materials that I've developed have different polymer bases and modified at the surface is a small molecule known as azobenzene. Azobenzene is an interesting molecule. When it's exposed to low energy UV light or blue light, it completely shifts over its spatial orientation. And then to this mix, we can add a host molecule, which is able to actually trap a the azobenzene molecules within themselves. This creates a material that can have different physical and chemical properties that the cells can respond to just with short bursts of light. This research has shown that the surface modifications with these different polymer bases influences cell behavior differently and may offer two different methods to deal with secondary cataracts. The first, some of these materials have been shown to decrease cell adhesion, thus eliminating the actual source of secondary cataracts, which are the cells themselves. Second, other materials have been shown to actually help maintain some of the normal lens cell behaviors so that downstream they can prevent other pathological processes like abnormal protein release. Even if these materials are not used for this exact system, their dynamic aspect have wide ranging applications. The body is an ever changing chemical plant. So it makes sense to use materials that we can wield to respond to those changes. Thank you.